Hey everybody, Jeremy here and welcome to another haul video. And if this is your first time joining us, this is the video series, I guess, where I show you some of the cool stuff that I picked up over the past week or so. Although most of the things that you're gonna see here today, I actually picked up today. And if you wanna see some of the previous haul videos that I've done, just look back at some of my older videos and you will find quite a few of them, I think. So let's get started with this now as tradition around these parts in my haul videos if i get anything that is funko related or specifically a funko pop that is what we start with and i do have that so that's what we're going to start with starting with this cool guy here super saiyan god super saiyan goku this is a hot topic exclusive i went there this morning and um this is the latest that I have in the line of Dragon Ball Z Pops. This specific one was from uh, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, which is actually a movie. And if you haven't seen this movie, uh, go ahead. You can rent it on Google Play and uh, I assume iTunes and, you know, God knows where other place you can go and rent it. But it's a pretty good movie. And this is Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. I'm going to take him out of the box here. On the back, in case you're curious, is a um, the picture of Beerus who was also in the movie and another one as well. I don't know if Beerus is an exclusive to anywhere. He probably is, and there's probably different variants of him. I gotta tell you, keeping up with these Dragon Ball Pops has become more difficult over time because there's like a Badman Vegeta and there's like a Super Saiyan God Vegeta, uh, but this one's metallic, but this one isn't, and, uh, 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 and it's starting to get a little bit hard to keep up with. But here is Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Looks uh, very similar to the regular Super Saiyan Goku, except for the blue hair. And I don't think that Goku has this stance in his regular Super Saiyan form. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, he kind of does have this form in his uh, Super Saiyan form, the original one. Uh, but of course, the gi is different because it has that marking on it, that little drawing, if you will. Uh, if you check out the movie, you'll know where that came from. And uh, yeah, I mean, as a Dragon Ball Z fan, I just have to get the Dragon Ball Pops. It's kind of like one of those things that's not very debatable. If they're around, you just have to get them. So yeah, just another Super Saiyan form. Be a good thing to add to the collection there. Now let's continue in the vein of Dragon Ball Z because I have something else that I want to show you. And of course, we're going to get close-ups of all of these and we'll see how well you can see this guy once I drag him over here. So this is Trunks, Super Saiyan Trunks, and this is once, uh, once again one of those cool statues from Ban Presto in their uh, Master Stars line. So this Trunks is about nine and a half inches tall, and this is actually what I believe to be the first Master Stars statue that has the uh, golden hair for a Super Saiyan. Not just the regular yellow hair like all the other statues have, but this is this is almost like a metallic gold and it looks really good. I actually prefer this shade of, uh, of gold that they have uh, compared to the regular yellow Super Saiyan. So I hope that they continue to use this going forward. And this Super Saiyan trunks looks pretty great. Uh, he comes in three parts. Uh, you have to connect his torso to his uh, lower body. And then the sword here is actually just a half sword it's in there good so i can't take it out without forcing it out but this is not a whole sword it's like cut in half and you just have to put it inside the sheath and it creates the illusion that it's actually a full sword but this guy looks really good i mean it's ban presto uh, i've read some reviews on amazon for some of their later characters or uh, statues and some people have been like oh man it's not as good as some of the previous ones they seem to be slipping but this trunks is really good you know the hair does it the hair really does it. It really makes the rest of him stand out very well. And this right here is just a little, uh, it's just a little plastic stand that you can put on the back of his foot to help him stand up better, but he does stand up fine all by himself. But if you want to use it, you can. I'm going to use it anyway because it came in the box. Uh, of course, it's a statue, so no articulation. Got that cool Capsule Corp logo right there on the left side of his jacket, and he looks really awesome. You know, and there's also an older non-Super Saiyan Trunks statue uh, from Ban Presto. So it would be pretty cool to kind of put those two together. But yeah, he is the latest in my collection. He's actually kind of heavy. And he looks great. I love that. Love that. So Ban Presto continued to impress. And I'm really digging that hair. Totally digging that hair. 
All right, so next up, as you probably already know, uh, Force Friday, it was actually yesterday because today is October the 1st. So uh, Force Friday, it was yesterday. And if you're not familiar with Force Friday, that's the uh, day where all the new Star Wars merchandise is released. Uh, because since Rogue One is coming out fairly soon at this point, uh, all the stores that had toys and just anything Rogue One, Rogue One related, it all dropped on the same day. And stores like Toys R Us opened up at midnight so people can try to get some stuff there. Cool Black Series action figures, you know, things like that. You know, I don't think Target opened up at midnight, but you can get stuff from there. And Walmart is 24 hours. So anyway, a lot of people were going out to try to see what kind of Force Friday stuff that they could get. I did not do that. I'm not the biggest Star Wars guy, but I am a still a fan of Star Wars. And there's always something that catches my eye. So I took part in not Force Friday, but Lazy Saturday, which I just wanted to see what was left. Picking up the scraps, if you will. But I decided to go to, um, oh, you know what? Let's not get to that. Let's not get to that. Uh, let's finish up on Hot Topic because I got one more thing from Hot Topic I forgot to mention. I'll do this real quick, though, but it's a shirt. And I'm going to hold it up. And you guys who are fans will know what this is. You will know exactly what this is. And now I'm going to tell everyone else who doesn't know. This is uh, the latest Seth Rollins t-shirt from the WWE Redesign, Rebuild, Reclaims. The shirt that he had when he came back from his uh, really bad injury. And Seth Rollins is kind of turning into uh, uh, a baby face now, kind of. Uh, even though he's not really doing anything different per se, he's just not sticking it to the audience as hard as he usually does. But everyone likes Seth Rollins, even when he was a bad guy. Because Seth Rollins is awesome. People recognize the talent. They go like, man, this, this guy is really amazing. So we gravitated towards him. Storylines be damned. And this is my first Seth Rollins shirt. And I don't know what took me so long to represent the man. But um, yeah, it took me that long to represent him. And so there we go. There we go. Um... I'm so sorry to tease the Star Wars stuff because um, I'm getting a little bit off track. Let's push Star Wars to the side for now. Uh, let's continue with the wrestling. There are two things here that I'm going to show you that's still from the world of wrestling. And it's these two WWE elite figures right here. Um, and this is uh, the Nation of Domination 2-pack that came with The Rock and Farouk. And The Rock is holding the Attitude Era Intercontinental uh, Championship. I don't know what this uh, little sash is supposed to be. I need to figure that out. But these were on Amazon for only $22. And that's an amazing deal because this is two, two elite figures, two pretty darn good elite figures, mind you, and a title belt for 22 bucks. I mean, a regular elite is gonna cost you 20 at normal price. So of course, if you can get two for 22, why the heck not? And the funny thing is I was just in the Kmart last week and I saw this. And Kmart was charging like $34 for them. And I was like, Kmart, man, this is why you're failing. But yeah, this is this is great. You know that I really do love these belts on these WWE Elite figures. And it's really what got me into these because I love these shiny belts. And having an Attitude Era Intercontinental title, pretty awesome. Because I got the white strap one uh, that came with a Dolph Ziggler Elite. So yeah, I just wanted to show these guys. They were off to the side. Okay, now we can get back to the Star Wars stuff. Now, with Star Wars, I wanted to do something a little bit different because instead of just getting the regular Black Series stuff, I decided to go to the Disney store and pick up some of the Disney, Disney store exclusive uh, Elite Series Rogue One figures. And that's what I did. So the first one here is the Elite Series K2SO. And I had to read that because, let's face it, hardly no one knows who the heck this guy is, this droid role he's going to play as far as he, is he going to be an awesome character it's a great design which is why i got it and i think a lot of people are taken by this design but we really don't know what kind of a role he's going to play or if it'll be like a captain phasma thing where everyone loves him and then they see the movie and then they go that's it well he was on screen for like a second and then he got crushed huh i wasted all that money on his merch 
But yeah, um, so the thing about these figures are they're a mixture of die cast metal and plastic. Uh, so they're cut above the regular Hasbro uh, Black Series figures, but they don't have as uh, much of a range of articulation. But if you're looking for something that is, you know, a little bit more sturdy with arguably better paint applications, better scopes, better molds, pretty much better in every way except for articulation, then you might want to check out these Elite Series and you can only get them at the Disney Store. And of course, they're more expensive. This was $26.95, so you are going to be paying uh, about six bucks more for something like this. And um, they also had a sale going on. Don't know how long it's going to last, but some of the older um, elite Star Wars figures were only $15, which was a great, great price. I saw, a, I think I saw a Boba Fett there. And dang, I probably should have picked him up too. But anyway... Last thing I want to show you here also from Rogue One Star Wars, the Imperial Death Trooper. Also from the Elite series, and the Death Trooper is also another uh, figure, character, horde of characters, whatever, that has really, um, really captured the ad admiration of the Star Wars public right now. Maybe, be maybe it's because the name Death Trooper just sounds amazing, you know. What is that? It's a Death Trooper. You know, but he's, he's decked out in all black, kind of like a TIE fighter pilot. But, uh, you know, he's wearing the regular Stormtrooper helmet. And, um, you know, I, I really do think that it's the name. I think Death Trooper is just a really good name. So people are just kind of drawn to it. But this is the same thing. You know, die cast metal and plastic, a little bit of uh, weight to it. And uh, they, they also come with stands, I believe. And, you know, it's just it's just a cut above the regular uh, Black Series figures, you just sacrifice a little articulation for it and you pay a little bit more. Me personally, I don't mind because I am a fan of statues. Not everything has to have 40 points of articulation to me. As long as it looks good, that's all that matters. And I believe that is it. That is all the stuff that I have. Now, I did go to Toys R Us because I did try to get the, um, the pops of Cyborg as the Green Lantern and Beast Boy as Martian Manhunter. Went to a couple of different Toys R Us stores, didn't see that at all. So couldn't find that. And um, I'm not really interested in looking right now for any of the other uh, Rogue One exclusive pops. Maybe, what was his name, like Saw Guerra, Guerrera, something like that. Because, you know, just so I can say I, I have a Forrest Whitaker pop. Why not? And I think that one is only at Walmart. And the one Walmart I went to didn't have any, just nothing. It's not like it was even there and everyone bought. No, they didn't have anything. So I probably won't see those Star Wars Rogue One exclusives until, I don't know, maybe the middle of November. Because they seem to be super late on stuff. But anyway, yeah, that is it, you guys. That's all the stuff that I have here today to show you. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this and other stuff because sometimes this channel can be quite random and you're into that kind of thing, uh, be sure to subscribe. I'll always be here. And until next time, I'm Jeremy and I'll talk to you later.